why is everyone hyping this fragrance up? I don't get the hype. What's up my cherry bomb? In today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on my entire MFK collection. Now in this video, we're gonna do it a little bit different. I'm gonna be ranking my favorites to my least favorites or my least favorites to my favorites. And I don't want you guys to be alarmed. These are all fragrances that I truly adore and love. But if we have to pick the best one, we're gonna pick the best one, okay? And quick disclaimer, this is my opinion. If your fragrance falls to the last or the first and you're feeling some type of way, please take it with a grain of salt because this is my opinion, this is how I feel about each fragrance. It doesn't mean that I don't like your favorite fragrance. It just means that I probably like one a little bit more than the other. I don't want nobody to be offended and I just had to put that out there real quick. Francis Kirk Dijon. I like to think of him as a master perfumer. A lot of people that they call master perfumers usually are not master perfumers. You can't tell that by their work. Now, I'm not saying that there's others that are least and you know, but I'm just saying like he is top tier and a lot of his fragrances that he creates, I really, really enjoy. And a lot of them I enjoyed without even knowing that he's the one that created it. So Francis Kirk Dijon is amazing. Now he did sell the company I hope that the concentration of the fragrances are not affected moving forward, but for the most part right now, my collection is complete unless they come out with something extremely mind-blowing for me to add into my collection. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one. We're starting off from least favorites to the most favorite. And this is one that everyone probably have in their collection. This is a niche fragrance that everyone probably started off when it came to Francis Kirk Dijon. It's one that is so sexy. I classify this as a warm, sexy, spicy, sweet fragrance because this has like an underlying sweetness that is like unmatched and it is Baccarat Rouge 540 the EDP now you guys keep in mind it's not that I don't like this fragrance but it is my least favorite when I first smelled this fragrance I remember to myself why is everyone hyping this fragrance up I don't get the hype and um, I just kept on going back to Neiman, spraying it on my skin. Every time I'm in Bloomingdale's, I spray it on my skin. I'm trying to figure out what's the magic that this bottle had that got everyone on a chokehold. And one day my friend wore it around me and I was just like, girl, you smell so good. And then she told me it's, it's 540. And I was just like, I wish I smelled that, that you guys smell. Like I wish I smelled it on my skin. Y'all, I could not smell this on my skin at all. And I was not getting what everybody was getting. It was just so medicinal in my opinion. And then one day I said, let me go ahead and wear this fully. I had a sample set and I wore it and y'all, the compliments that I got was out of this world, but it wasn't the compliments that got me. It was when I was eating lunch with my husband and I dropped my phone and I bent down to pick it up. And while getting up, the whiff of my sillage hit me in the face. And I said, wow. My husband was like, I told you, you smell amazing. And that's when I instantly fell in love with the fragrance. I got everything that everybody was saying that they got. I finally smelled the magic. And this was actually gifted to me. Ever since I smelled the magic, it was impossible for me to not smell it after that. It is amazing. When it gets on the skin, it is good. Now, for me, it's almost like a cotton candy, almost like a burnt sugar fragrance. That's the best way I can explain it because it is very hard to explain, but it is so sexy. It's unisex and it is one that I highly recommend for someone to get in their collection if you're trying to stand out. Granted, everyone and their mom smells like this now because it is like the number one niche fragrance that when someone's going into niche, they get it's super unique, it's super luxe, and it's always gonna be in my collection because it's really, really good. But this would have to be my least favorite in my entire Francis Kirk Dijon line. Next one is a sexy, sensual fragrance. And this one is Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait de Parfum. Now, in my defense, if I smelled this one before the ADP, I would have instantly gotten this one, but I did not smell this one first. Every single time I went into Neiman's, I, I was smelling the ADP because, you know, why not? And I was just like, okay, well, if the ADP smells like that, of course the extract smells like that too. Y'all, I should have smelled this first. So I was on a fragrance group and there was a raffle. I entered and I won this bottle. 
you guys, when I finally got the bottle in, I was just like, okay, well, I guess I just have the red version of the Baccarat Rouge 40. And at the time, I was still trying to figure out if I like Baccarat Rouge 40. And when I got this, you guys, I sprayed it. I instantly fell in love. First of all, I smelled it. Second of all, it was a beautiful, sexy version of EDP that I just could not put my finger on. So I went on Fragrantica, looked at the notes, and then I seen it had a note of Bitter Almond. And that was my first fragrance with Bitter Almond. You guys, if y'all thinking about getting any of the Baccarat Rouges, I would highly recommend this one to be your first one. It is sexy. It's long lasting, it's beastly. It's an extra de perfume. This one does not have the disappearing act that Baccarat Rouge for 40 has. People around me will smell me. I will blow up a room if I walk into that room wearing that fragrance, but I can't smell it. Whereas this one, I smell it throughout the whole wear and I'm constantly getting whiffs of this fragrance. It is so good. There's something about this one that makes me crazy. Like honestly, if the original had that bitter almond note added onto it, I would have instantly fell in love. If I run out of the EDP and this one and I have to re-up, I will automatically go and get this one. This one is part of their Oud line. And when I tell you guys, Francis Kurt Dijon does Oud so well. And this one is one that the fragrance community hype up. If anyone that likes niche fragrances have a Oud fragrance in their collection, I almost can guarantee you that it's this one. And it is Oud Satin Mood. This is the EDP. And let's just get this out of the way. It is beastly. What I like about this fragrance is the rose. Now it has two of my favorite roses. It has Bulgarian rose and Turkish rose. And when you have a fragrance that has both, you have my heart. Now what really stands out to me in this fragrance is a sweet rose and oud fragrance. Now the oud in this is super airy and aromatic. I don't get that much of a heavy barnyard oud. The oud in this is super friendly for people that don't like oud. Now I love oud. It's nice, it's sexy, but this is one that is beastly. Like you literally need two or three sprays and that's it. It is unisex and most of the ladies that I know that's in Fragcom prefer this one over the other ouds that he have in his collection. This is one that most people would blind buy because it is so popular and so good. The scent profile is really likable. I really like it, but it is not my favorite oud from his entire line. And speaking of my favorite oud from his entire line, we have the next fragrance, which is at the number three spot in my entire collection, and it is Oud Silk Mood. Oud Silk Mood is amazing. It is a rose oud combo. It has notes of chamomile, bergamot papyrus, rose, kayak wood, oud. One thing about this one is that it's sexy. Now, it's not so much of that sweetness in this. The chamomile makes it very unique. The papyrus make it unique. And that's what made me fall in love with this one. I remember going to Neiman Marcus, smelling the oud line, and I smelled oud satin mood, and I was like, ooh, this is so good. And I was so ready to cash out. And then there was someone by me, and they had this one in their hand. So I was like, okay, before I cash out, let me go ahead and smell this one first. So I waited until they were done. The sales rep wiped it down for me so I could sniff, picked it up and I sniffed it and I said, whoa, I can't believe that I almost got Oud Satin Mood over this. This one right here is not blind by worthy. It is not safe blind by worthy. It is one that not a lot of people will like. And I think that's what I really loved about it because it was super unique. I have never smelled a Oud and Rose combo like this. Usually Oud Rose combos are Oud, Rose, Vanilla, and Praline. And they're so sweet that you can't really enjoy the Oud if you really a oud lover. I remember the first time I wore it, I got so many compliments. And the compliments was crazy because I did not expect this to be one that people would like to smell on me. I expected it to be one of those fragrances that I enjoy and I enjoy only. I prefer this one over Oud Satin Mood. I'm not saying Oud Satin Mood isn't sexy. Oud Satin Mood has its place and time. But this one right here, if I have to reach for a oud, is this one. Now, judging the ones that I just showed you, you could tell that they're all sweet, sexy, beastly fragrances. Now, this one is definitely beastly, but it is definitely on the fresh side. It's so clean and crisp and sexy. I love it. And it is Gentle Fluidity Silver. When I first smelled this fragrance, I instantly fell in love. I just could not believe that a fragrance smelled so good. I remember watching one of Sheree's videos when these two fragrances came out, when the gold and the silver came out, and she sniffed the gold and she sniffed the silver. She loved the gold and she loved the silver, but she was just like, the silver, if I had to choose, I would go with gold first, right? So 
I loved that video because she compared both of them. She said that the gold was more feminine and the silver was more masculine, but they both can be worn on a woman and a man, right? So I went to the store, smelled gold. And I was just like, okay, gold is nice, but I think I got some fragrances in my collection that smells like that. But when I smelled this one, y'all, it literally took everything in me to not purchase it right then and there. The reason why I didn't purchase it because I wanted to see the longevity and how it worked on my skin. But straight off the cap, I instantly fell in love. I sprayed it on my skin that day. I kept getting compliments around the mall. Every store I went to, people were like, excuse me, ma'am, what are you wearing? You smell so good. Whenever I go fragrance testing, I don't wear a fragrance. So that way I could see if it gets me compliments or I could see if there's a sillage, if I could smell it on my skin. I don't want no other fragrance to contaminate that fragrance because what if I buy it and then when I get home on fresh, clean skin, I don't like it. So I always go to the store with fresh, clean skin and y'all, the compliments was crazy. I got like three compliments that same day. This is one that I really, really love and I remember when I finally got it in the collection, I spread it on and my husband was like, what are you wearing? Then I took it and I was like, I'm wearing this one I just got in the mail and then he spread it on his skin and he instantly said, this is for me and honestly y'all, it smells so good on him that I just let him take it. I just let him take it. It's so good. It's so sexy. It's so versatile. It's a fresh, clean fragrance. It has amber in it. It has the same exact notes that Gentle Fluidy Gold have, but it's done differently. This is so sexy. That juniper berry in this fragrance is what really got me. The amber and the vanilla is super warm super cooling and sweet if you're looking for something that's gonna stand out this is it my friend actually bought this bottle and um, when she bought it she actually ended up getting the 6.7 ounce after this bottle because it was just that good and she loves it and it's always a good compliment getter i honestly get more compliments with this one than baccarat rouge 540 i don't know what it is about this fragrance it just works <laughs> now the next fragrance is the one that i love so much fun fact this is actually my second bottle I have never told anybody that because I was just like, damn, I really ran through this bottle. I'm sure that by the end of the winter and um, springtime, this fragrance is gonna be gone. And it is brand soir. Y'all, I have to say this has to go to the number one spot in my entire collection. This is so good. Out of all the Francis Kirk Dijon fragrances, I fell in love with this instantly. And I mean, I fell in love. I could not sleep thinking about this fragrance, thinking about how good it smelled. I remember I smelled this fragrance when I first smelled Baccarat Rouge 540. And I was telling my friend because Baccarat Rouge 540 was her signature scent. I said, girl, I'm so sorry. I smelled Baccarat Rouge. I don't like it. The one with the red juice is my favorite. This fragrance right here is a beastly fragrance. It's the sexiest amber fragrance I have in my collection. If you're looking for a spicy oriental style, smoky, slightly ambery fragrance, then this one is it. It is sexy. It is one of the most complimented fragrances in my collection and honestly you guys you could just never go wrong with this it is a fragrance that i would wear to special occasions it's a fragrance that once i wear it i am constantly being chased down literally two sprays is all you need because francis kirk dijon fragrances are so powerful and my number one is grand soir comment down below i will link all of these if you would like to test them out comment down below if you have another favorite that i need to try i probably haven't tried yet and y'all know i'm a big rose fragrance lover but for some reason his rose fragrances don't really move me if i had to choose a rose fragrance it would be um the one that he made for the guy but it just didn't move me enough to actually purchase the bottle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link all of these in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until we see each other again, please, please, please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances. Bye, Cherry Bombs. <laughs>